So I typically used to spend a lot of time in Excel creating graphs. I'd come in here and grab, grab the area I wanted. Uh, you know, plot this. Oh, I need labels on here. I don't want this a dash line. Um, I don't want the border here. I need the legend. Um, lots of things that would take a lot of time. So what I did was I wrote an auto hotkey script that if I hit a key combination, you'll watch, it builds my graph for me. And so it's put them the way I want them. I predefined these to have dashes here. Also, I've increased the size of this font and put the legend up here without the border, put it up at top, um, expanded this. And the other thing that's pretty cool is, let's say that um, I wanted this actually a little smaller and also these a little bit smaller. Well, let me get rid of this real quick. Now, in my script, what I've done is I've used it as an index. So if I make this 12, save it and reload it, now when I run it, you'll see everything has changed in size. Right? So this one is not as big as it used to be, and these are also smaller. So what I'm doing is, is this, the same way as CSS works, is uh, I've, I've created the index here then I have my sizes that are half the size up to that size and then bigger and then I use that in the graph itself so I can change one number and the relationship of all these from the biggest to the smallest um, increases or decreases depending on what I want. Anyway, uh, right now it's set to where it looks at this um, range and uh, which is great if I have updated data I can do that without having to create the graph. The, next macro I'm working on will actually s flip through all the ranges and graph all the things without me having to tell it where they are. Thanks.